Iconic. Simple. Unpretentious. If I say digital watch, chances are you'll envisage something that looks like this. Hey guys, I'm Ben Arthur and this is my review of the Casio F91W. Nearly 30 years after its initial release, the Casio F91W still remains arguably the most popular digital watch in the world, with the company still reportedly pumping out over 3 million units per year. This watch has a true cult following and is particularly popular with those looking for a low cost, reliable, accurate timepiece for daily usage. In this video, I review this legendary watch to see what makes it loved by so many. The Casio F91W has often been referred to as the ultimate everyman's watch, and the price perfectly reflects the audience Casio have targeted with this model. The F91W was one of the world's first mass-produced low-cost digital watches, and has been available for comfortably under £20, usually under £10 since release. Essentially, this watch is the definition of affordability. Regardless of your income, you'll be able to get your hands on one of these digital Casio watches. And when your watch costs the same as a Big Mac meal, it's bound to have many people willing to at least give it a try. This also means that the watch is easily replaceable if lost or damaged. It may even prove cost effective to just buy a fresh watch once the battery expires. A side benefit of a super low cost watch like this is a reduction in the viability of fake or replica watches. Chinese knockoffs of the F91W are certainly available at lower prices. And whilst I definitely don't recommend that behavior, I also don't see the point. Why spend four pounds on a fake Casio which likely won't perform as well when you can buy the real thing for only a fraction more? Unlike the fake Rolex market, for instance, where the cost discrepancy between the real and fake models is vast, for cheap watches like the F91, it makes no sense. Want to know if your watch is real or fake? Stay tuned and I'll show you soon. Specification wise, the F91W comes in with a diameter of 34 millimeters, a depth of 8.5 millimeters, and a lug to lug of 38 millimeters. So this watch is relatively small, but it's also very light at only 20 grams. The case material is resin and it only comes in at 30 meters of water resistance. Movement wise, inside you've got the Casio Digital 593. And typically you can pick this watch up from between seven and 10 pounds in the UK with a two year warranty. If you like the sound of this watch, you can buy one of these using the link in the description, which also helps out my channel. Despite having somewhat of a retro charm, this watch isn't the epitome of style. The F91W certainly prioritizes function over form. That being said, this watch, along with its resin strap, is unbelievably comfortable to wear. Coming in at only 20 grams with a 34 millimeter diameter, you often forget that this thing is on your wrist, making it easy to wear for a full day or even while sleeping. If you're looking for a more stylish alternative to this watch that performs very similarly, the much classier A158W variant may be worth looking at instead. The rectangular case is made of black resin with three stainless steel pushers protruding out from small cushion-like bulges. While the case may not be made of more desirable stainless steel, for instance, it nonetheless performs well against bumps and scrapes. And for under 10 pounds, it's hard to expect more. Operation using the pushers is incredibly easy and intuitive and allows you to cycle through the various modes and functions of the watch. You can easily change the time and there's also a stopwatch function. The case back is stainless steel kept in place by four tiny screws with some printed details about the watch adorning the center. I have known several family members to go swimming in their F91s due to its reputation as quite a hardy watch. However, with a stated water resistance of just 30 meters, effectively making it only splash proof, it's not something that I personally recommend. Contained within is a simple Casio quartz movement, which has proven itself over the years to be incredibly reliable and robust. This one produces no noticeable noise and the battery will normally last around seven years. That being said, these have got a reputation to go on even longer than that. 
Notably, the size of the case makes this an easy wearer for a variety of wrist sizes. I have skinny six and a quarter inch wrists, and this watch sits perfectly in proportion with my wrist. Personally, I prefer this to the larger and chunkier G-Shock watches. I find this slimmer Casio model to be far more wearable. It's slightly more elegant and versatile, not to mention these designs fit under the sleeve more easily. The dial, or display in this case, is a super clear LCD, which is easily viewable from a variety of angles, even in direct sunlight. This is covered by a shatter resistant acrylic window lens. Notably, this is not scratch resistant and will certainly show scrapes and nicks. Given the price of the watch, however, you could call this a non-factor. I'm amazed that they can even make this for under £10. The backlight is legendarily poor, albeit does function somewhat as intended. This is activated by holding down the top left pusher. It lightly illuminates from the left side of the display, which does allow you to read the time in pitch black conditions. For upgraded luminescence, the newer Casio A168 may be a better choice, though it comes in at a higher cost and also with notably larger dimensions that some may find unfavorable. Casio have also included a sneaky method to check if your watch is real or counterfeit. Holding down the right button for a few seconds will display the word Casio on the LCD screen if the watch is indeed genuine. If this doesn't appear, chances are you've been ripped off. On paper, the resin strap doesn't sound too appealing. After all, on a sub £10 watch, what can you expect? In practice though, this is the perfect accompaniment to this hardy timepiece. It is soft, comfortable, slim, and seamlessly fits the aesthetic of the watch. I found that it performs particularly well for use during exercise, as it doesn't trap any hairs and is seemingly unaffected by sweat. Its low profile also ensures it never gets in the way and reduces the chances of it getting damaged. So that's a basic overview of the watch. Now, what are my pros and cons for this one? What do I like and what do I think is maybe not so good? Let's get the bad stuff out of the way. The first has to be that weak backlight. And while it does technically work if it is super dark outside, this is still a part of the watch that's been left in the early 90s. Albeit, it is a very minor thing, and if you really wanted a brighter light, then you can just switch to the A168, although that one is exclusively a metallic design. Also, you've got the somewhat unstylish aesthetic. This one definitely has some 80s styling about it, but it isn't what I would call an attractive watch. This is more one that serves its purpose. And also, obviously, you've got the overall basic specifications. At this sort of price point, you're not gonna be getting any fancy glass or any interesting movements. Nevertheless, this offers fantastic value for money. Let's run over some of the things I like. First is obviously the super low cost. The price of this thing is so useful because it almost makes this a disposable watch. You can wear it, you can afford to lose it because you can just buy another one, meaning you never have to worry when it's on your wrist. I also really like the size of this watch. And I think it's one of the reasons why this model in particular has become so popular because loads of people, even those with the skinniest of wrists, can still get away with wearing this one. It doesn't dominate the arm. If anything, it's the opposite. It kind of blends in a bit. And overall, it's tremendously comfortable, partially due to the size, but also the weight. At 20 grams, you do forget that this is on the wrist after a while. I also love the overall functionality and durability for the cost. Now, one of these isn't gonna survive being hit by a baseball bat but general wear and tear, bumps and scrapes, that's where this watch thrives. And I kind of feel like the more scrapes the resin cases get, it gives them a bit more character, a bit more personality, because you know that that's exactly what this watch is being designed to do. Also, I think it's worth mentioning the ease of use, because your pet cat can probably get this thing to work properly. The way that this cycles through the functions is so easy, and the fact that there's only three pushers, it doesn't complicate anything. As with many Casio watches, it just gets the job done. And that's what I love about it. Now, the question is should you buy one? While this watch prioritizes function over form, I think the F91W is an absolute essential to own. Whether as a first watch or just as a cheap daily beater, there's many reasons why this watch has legendary status. This is certainly no statement piece. Overall though, it's truly a pleasure to wear for work and everyday tasks. Personally, I prefer the metallic A158W variant. 
as I find it looks more stylish with my outfits and looks less like a dad watch. However, the F91W is cheaper and does have a more comfortable strap, so will certainly be of preference to many. My father, for instance, who works as a plumber, he adores the practicality of the F91W, which has adorned his wrist for over 20 years. So I highly recommend giving this watch a try. I've got a couple of different links in the description. First is, I'm gonna link these Casio watches if you wanna pick one up. They're so cheap, I definitely recommend it. But also, I'm gonna link my new watch channel. If you like this style of video about this topic, I invite you to come and subscribe. And over there, I'll begin my full review of the metallic variant, the A158W, which, if you're bothered about your style, I definitely recommend having a look at. It packs the functionality of this watch into something that looks a little bit better. Either way, if you found this video useful, please like the video, and I'll see you on the next one, boys.